think one of the things that we see today is that the church in the world right now is trying to be like the world. It's trying to be like the culture around us rather than being a witness or a testimony to the culture of God, to the world. We're trying to bring the culture of the world into the church, into the culture of God. And this is very, very similar to what the Old Testament covenant community did time after time. And again, they too wanted to be like the nations around them. They wanted to adopt a king and introduce a monarchy into Israel in order that they could be like the nations around them. They adopted their gods, they adopted their customs and their ways. And we saw where that led them. It led them away from God. Now, I'm not saying that we can't have some cultural appropriation in the church. Obviously, we can have some kind of culture, uh, cultural appropriation, but the problem is we go too far with it. That's the concern. We're not being a witness to the nations. We are rather letting them witness to us. And you often see this where you have actual clergy in the church saying, we need to stop trying to teach unbelievers. We need to just start listening and let them teach us. And the presumption is that they can teach us. And of course, there is an element of truth that, okay, yes, even pagans have some truth. But all truths that they have are ours to begin with, and they're not going to be teaching us anything new. So I think we've taken it too far and become too much like the nations around us, rather than being a witness to them. You know, one of the similarities between the New Covenant community and the Old Covenant community that we especially see today is uh, the clergy being profligate, uh, especially the clergy being subject to sexual abuse and liturgical abuse. We see that today, of course, um, in the Catholic Church, but this is something that we saw also in the Old Testament. I think here of Nadab and Abihu, who had some serious liturgical abuses and God killed them for it. And there were others. And it's interesting that those priests who were engaging in liturgical abuse in the Old Testament were generally the ones who were also engaging in all kinds of um, sexual abuse. And that is one of the problems that we see today. Often these things go hand in hand. So I think that we could learn from the mistakes of the Old Testament covenant community um, and see that, wow, God took this really, really seriously, especially the liturgical abuse, um, and not just brush it off lightly. We tend to see you know, sexual abuse as a very, very big issue, which it is, rightly so. But we, we tend to brush aside the liturgical abuses, and we need to see that often they go hand in hand. I think one thing that we could do is read the Bible, especially the Old Testament, in light of the New. Read it typologically and learn from the mistakes of the Old Covenant community because I think we're guilty of the same problems and difficulties that they struggled with and the sins that they engaged in. We're doing the same thing today, just maybe in a different style. I mean, the classic example is abortion, right? Uh, in the Old Testament, you had sacrifices to Moloch. Uh, you know, the firstborn was sacrificed to Moloch. So you had human sacrifices, and the Israelites were participating in this. Um, but, you know, of course, we don't actually do human sacrifices today. Instead, what we do is abortion. And we just call it, you know, a woman's right to choose. But in fact, it's very, very similar to what was going on with the Old Covenant community. So I think what we should be doing is reading the scriptures typologically and learning from their mistakes rather than repeating them. <laughs>